here we're standing on two of my favorite trees. This one behind me, the elderberry guyash. And this one right now, uh, and has always been a very powerful medicine plant. Pretty soon you're gonna see these beautiful uh, clusters of blossoms. Well, those blossoms contain uh, a, a wonderful medicinal for the bronchial tubes, for your, for your breathing. It also, it also builds up the immune system. These are two main uh, plants, the elderberry and the oak, that grow around the world and all have the same properties and values uh, that we all had as indigenous peoples. One of our main um, things is our musical instruments. This here, Askatata, clapper stick, is made from the elderberry. And so you clap it on your hands like this. This is our, our main percussion instrument. And you see that little hole right there? As the rat, it's a split stick rattle, so it's split all the way down. And then you dig out that little pith inside there with a, with a sharp stick, and it gives you that sound. Just, other thing that we had uh, made with the elderberry is whistles. You take a little branch of the elderberry and carve it out. Then you plug up the one end. So you want to carry one of these, like especially if you're walking around in the woods and maybe you get yourself lost or you see something you want, you know, somebody's attention, you might want to blow these and it, it helps people kind of gather when you're gathering. Quiet down everybody, you just blow the whistle. Other things that were made from the elderberry is the alahata momo, the bull roar. What this does is that when you turn it overhead and spin it, you get a, uh, the wind coming through these serrated edges on, on the board and you, you wind it up. I'm going to twist it up on the string, get it really, really tight. Now what this does, and, and a lot of people, again, all indigenous peoples, there's many tribes and cultures around the world that all had one of these and they used them pretty much in the same ways. When spun, like for us in the Chumash world, if there's a ceremony beginning, about five men would get out into the ceremonial circle with the alahata momo and they would wind them up and then they would spin them overhead. And that told everybody that it was time to come to ceremony, but it also evoked the deities around us to join and come to the ceremony as well. And that told everybody it was time to come to ceremony. This is a cocoon rattle. So each one of these little things right here, there's about five or six of them in there, have pebbles inside. We also have a game that was played. Well, this little game is played by using counter sticks. And I made these out of elderberry. And there's about 12 of them. The idea is to get all the sticks. So you, you, you choose odd or even. And right here I have the black walnuts. So I roll my dice. I'm gonna count how many went up. And I picked odd. I want a stick. I get another turn. Okay, so, and that game keeps going as long as I keep winning. So this tree again, it needs to be here. It has a lot of animals that live in it too and feed off of it. All the birds, the coyote, everybody, foxes, they're all eating the elderberries when they're, when they're ripe. And we have all this medicinal properties to it. So you see how the branches are growing nice and tall. We want to tend. We didn't do farming, we didn't do agriculture, but we tended. We propagated, we sowed seeds, but the more that we tended and, and trimmed and, and you know had this relationship with this plant, the bigger and stronger those branches grew so we could have some really nice cool whistles and, and clapper sticks.